cracking down on the homeless crisis by cracking down on drugs. That's the bottom line of a new proposal by three high profile members of local law enforcement. And one of them is joining us now here on set, Yellow County District Attorney Jeff Reisig. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. And Jeff, you, talk, you talked about this. You already have people on board with you right now. We're talking about uh, Sacramento Sheriff Jim Cooper, former Sacramento County DA Anne Marie Schubert, all teaming up on this. So walk us through this solution that you guys have put together to end the homeless crisis. So we do, in fact, have a plan that can end California's homeless crisis in one year. And here's how. I know that's a big statement, mm -hmm. but this is a drug crisis. And all we need to do is look at some of our blue states who have had similar challenges and seen how they dealt with this issue. And what they have done, to be quite succinct, is they have tougher drug laws. Mm -hmm. And so what we're envisioning in this proposal is a fix to California law, which will bring a new type of offense into the playbook, and it's called a treatment-mandated felony. And what that means is that if somebody is arrested for a third time for possession of fentanyl, heroin, cocaine uh, or methamphetamine, on the third offense, they would be arrested for a treatment mandated felony. What would happen? They would get arrested, they would be taken to court, they would be assessed by a, a drug expert, they would see a judge, and they would be offered treatment. If they refuse treatment, they could go to jail. But we want them to choose treatment. At the core is the drug problem, and it's a huge problem we all know. How long did it take to put this together? Because obviously, you had to make sure this package was going to be presentable to voters and the public. Yeah, I mean, frankly, many of us have been working on this for years because it's been such a frustrating issue for all of us. But this really has gained steam in the last few months. I'd say we've had leaders from all over California, bipartisan, coming together on this plan to fix the homeless crisis. And it's been really amazing to me. I've never seen anything like it in 27 years as an elected, as a DA, I should mm -hmm. say. Now, and you're already taking action on this. You have an announcement that you want to make right here on CBS 13 about how you're going to get this done. Because I'll tell you, it is quite the um, bold action that you want to take with this. It is bold. And that's why this summer we're going to be filing papers to get this on the ballot in November of 2024. So it'll be an initiative on the statewide ballot to solve this homeless crisis. How do you get this past the goalie when the goalie is a California, mostly liberal voting base that tends to cut people more slack than they do want to punish them? Yeah, so look, this is a program that is very humane. It, it, it's balanced, right? We've got compassion because we're focused on getting people treatment. We want them to get better. But you have to have accountability too. The second part deals with the retail theft issue. And interrelated with the homeless problem is the massive spike in retail thefts that we've seen across California. So part of the proposal addresses that as well. And basically what it does is it brings back what's called a petty theft with a prior. If you steal three times on that third offense, you get treated more harshly than the first two. I think that makes sense. I think most people would agree with that, and that's part of the whole package. I, I gotta ask you this question, though, because I, I think that this is an important one. We are in the middle of a mental health crisis. People say already we do not have enough counselors, people on hand to help the people who are already in treatment. So really, how would this even get done? Yeah, the good news is we already have those mechanisms in every county, 58 counties in California. They have the departments and the staff that can provide the necessary treatment and the counseling. Sure, we're going to have to staff up to solve this problem, but we can. A plan to end the homeless crisis. That, right. That's quite the headline you're breaking here on CBS 13. Appreciate yeah. your time, Jeff. Thank you. Yellow County DA Jeff Reisig, thank you.